No, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. Neither do You're I. telling me this whole time what we had to do is put PewDiePie's name in the title and make a strange face in the thumbnail. So you're doing it again, right? We begin our story at the worst thing the PewDiePie keyboard had to offer. The stabilizers. Ooh, yeah. How bad is it looking? Oh, it's not looking good. It's, it's not looking good. Multiple contusions, uh, tandem clip inserts, an extreme case of rattling. They forgot the loot! Oh my goodness. Why, why didn't you just start with that? Bring it in, come on. <laughs> I almost touched them. Woo! Oh. Oh. Yeah, no, we're not we're not using those stabilizers. <gasps> Instead, I decided to use some plate-mounted stabilizers I found from an old Weiss keyboard. Unlike the so-called pre-lubed stabilizers I just threw in the bin, these will be lubed with some Crytox 205 grade zero. <sighs> it doesn't work out like I thought it would. Oh. Ah, screw it. Done and done. Ooh, yeah. My PewDiePie keyboard came with Cherry MX Browns, which were fairly scratchy, fairly rattly, and fairly linear. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm sorry. And with great joy, I desoldered the MX Browns, and yes, I did throw them in the bin. Where they belong! Instead, uh, remind me, what do you get when you combine a C3 Kiwi with a cream switch? Yeah. You get creamsicles, or creewees? Cream park? I'm, I'm not sure. Of course, I, since the PewDiePie keyboard only supports three pin switches, and these are five pin, I had to mutilate their legs so that they'd fit. At this point, I could put everything back together, but I wanted to try something interesting out. Ooh, yeah. So we've modded the stabilizers, we sold the cherry and browns and threw them in the bin where they belong. Everything is nice and clean, so we could put the keyboard back together, but in recent times, I've been using a lot of plastic plates and it tends to give you a bit of a softer feel, you know, a bit of a softer sound. And I've, I've, I've been liking that quite a lot. So by comparison, this steel plate is very, very stiff. That left me with a single problem. How on earth do you modify a plate to get a softer typing feel? You put a hole in it. <laughs> no, seriously. You put a hole in it. Oh dear. <laughs> I've spotted something really bad. If you look really closely, you might see that you're not subscribed to the Glasses channel. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. The Felix board uses a tray mount system to hold everything together. However, this particular implementation resulted in a stiffer, more uneven feel and sound. Now you can't usually change the mounting style of a keyboard. It's kind of designed that way, but what if I told you we actually can? That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? What if I told you there was a way to mount the PewDiePie keyboard in one of the most legendary, sought-after mounting styles of the last few years, and all it took was a single O-ring. I'm gonna gasket mount the PewDiePie keyboard. The O-ring gasket mount. A method of case mounting found in some of the oldest and most notorious custom keyboards. Utilizing a large gummy worm like O-ring to isolate the case from the plate and PCB, often resulting in reduced internal vibrations and a bouncier typing experience. And it's gonna be just like that, but just way worse because the keyboard was never made for it. But I'm still gonna do it. I'm still gonna do it because that is the glasses way. Doing things that nobody asked for or no one cares for just because. Let's do it. And after cutting off the middle standoffs in the case, all the preparations were done. It was time to build a keyboard. Ooh, yeah. All right, first things first, stabilizers. I was scared they wouldn't fit back in the plate since I kind of mangled it, but it actually was fine. Surprisingly, I put some switches and some keycaps back on the stabilizers to make sure that they were okay. You know, test the feel and sound. Make sure there was no rattle. 
And now, the big solder. Starting with some plate mounted switches in the corner. Solder joint number one of many. Lovely. Then doing the rest of the plate mounted switches. Taking extra care to make sure everything was seated properly. Now, time for the plateless switches. They had basically no support from the PCB, but I'm sure it won't be too hard to solder them in, right? I was wrong. I, I, I was very, very wrong. Um, oh, look at that. They all fell out. They all fell out of the fucking keyboard. However, this was a bad idea, wasn't it? Many, many painful hours later, we got the job oh, done. Oh, last one. We were into the last stretch. The O-ring sits in between the PCB and the plate. You see that cut out right there? That allows for the O-ring, not the PCB, to rest on the ledges on the perimeter of the case. And with the plate and PCB secured into the case, all that was left were the keycaps. At this point, I don't really have much else to say, um, apart from a massive thank you, massive thank you for all the support on the latest videos. I know I made that joke in the beginning, but I did not expect that PewDiePie video to blow up like that. In fact, that so many of you guys subscribe really, it really means a lot to me. But there is one more thing I had to do. floor music oh that's why right we're we're doing this again okay you again with the pewdiepie keyboard why didn't you die the floor gun never dies yeah hits. no i i saw you explode you went kablooey how are you still here okay, look I, I had some gfu and i shook it off no big deal haven't you trashed you shook off you death were. can't you find another youtuber to what is that Oh, this. Yeah, no, it, it's just a PewDiePie board. I uh, modified it a little bit. I take back everything I said. So, can I have- Get out of my house. house. 